Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome viewers joining us live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night. We're ready to welcome the competitors for our main event of the evening. Please welcome firstly to the ring, the challenger for the title from the Salford, Jamie Moore! Crackling atmosphere. Eagerly anticipated third instalment to set the record straight. Former domestic champion Jamie Moore enters as a challenger for the second time against Michael Jones. The first was at five days notice two years ago when he comprehensively outboxed the Liverpool stylist. But a return to this ring last year saw Moore disqualified in a bizarre incident when a shot landed having been told to break. Bitterness ensued. Now, Jim, he wants to put the record straight for these fans and for himself and Rick Michael Jones once and for all. Yeah, that's for sure. And I think he'll be feeling very confident he can do that. I mean, he completely outboxed Jones in the first meeting. He looked to be out fighting in the second meeting when the late punch landed. So he must be supremely confident. The fact that the Lonsdale belt is on the line too is his own property if he wins tonight. I think that will just give him the added, added, the, the added edge that he needs and I think this is a genuine grudge fight and I think the physical strength of Jamie Moore will probably be the difference tonight. And now ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, the light middleweight champion of Great Britain, Liverpool's Michael! Moves all round, he enters the cauldron as the British light middleweight champion. But many feel that Merseyside's Michael Jones is one of the most fortunate in recent times. Unable to continue, he maintains last time through double vision in that astonishing third round last November. He was awarded that belt amid scenes of being dubbed a quitter. But Jim, he's a proud man, a decent boxer, and he'll want to put surely both his heart and skills together tonight. Yeah, of course he will. I mean, he probably doesn't really feel like a genuine British champion. Nobody, everybody dreams of winning the British title. Nobody wants to win it in a family clash. But I fully accept what happened that night. He was badly shaken. He heard the call to stop boxing, to relax, and a full-blooded punch landed. I don't think he could have been on. So he has a lot to prove. He knows he hasn't produced his best form in the previous two meetings. He knows he has to improve tonight, and I'm sure he's capable of doing that. This really is a good match. Let's have a look at how they line up. We've seen it before. One or two figures have changed. Michael Jones older at 30. He's got a big height advantage. Both look very good on the scales at the 11 stone limit and that reach there for Jones too. We're looking to outbox more if he can. He started a while before but look at the uh, similarity there in fights and rounds box although more with the added power and probably physical strength. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the officials appointed for this contest by the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge, Mr. Kevin Leaf, the timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Gary Grennan of Burnley, and the referee in charge of the action for this contest from Twickenham in London, Mr. Marcus MacDonald. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here at Altrincham Leisure Centre, live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night, it's time for the main event of tonight's boxing. Barry Hearn in association with Tommy Gilmore for Matchroom Sport proudly present tonight's main event sponsored by PokerMillion.com, uh, the greatest online poker room going. They proudly present a contest of 12 three minute rounds to decide the light middleweight championship of Great Britain. Between introducing the boxers and firstly fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trunks trimmed with silver and comes from the city of Salford. He weighed in at the middleweight limit of 11 stone exactly. He brings to the ring a 23-5 record 
20 wins, 14 wins by way of knockout with just three losses. He's the former British and Commonwealth light middleweight champion and tonight the challenger for the title. Please welcome Salford Sir Jamie. And standing across the ring in the blue corner stands the champion. We're in the red, white and green. He fights from Liverpool and also weighed the limit weight of 11 stone. His professional record from 22 contests reads 21 wins, 8 wins by way of knockout with just one solitary loss. He's the former Commonwealth champion and comes to the ring as the current British light middleweight champion, making the first defence of his title tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Liverpool's very own Michael Jones. The referee, Mr. Marcus McDonnell, will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Yeah, I spoke in the dressing room, you know what I expect. I expect you act like professionals at all times and obey my instructions. Watch your heads, keep it going. Now let me get this straight. Your shorts are high. That is the borderline there, okay? Yawn is there, okay? Have a good one. Good luck, both of you. Let's get it on, boys. Electricity here. A whole host of current and former champions from Manchester at ringside to see this. Bad blood fueled by nasty words. There's Ricky Hatton. Bitter battle here. Seven and a half months ago, Ricky's good friend Jamie Moore disqualified in confusing circumstances. One all between the two. Another rematch. And what now? Moore starts a seven to two on favourite to win the Lonsdale belt outright. Jones nine to four against to retain his title. Is it a question of controlling tempers in there? and revealing the right tactics. Yeah, well, I think that they're, they're two experienced professionals. I think all the, the trash talking beforehand will be forgotten about now they get down to business. It'll take a strong referee probably to look after this one. We may see one or two little incidents, but uh, we have a, a decent shot. But the right hook there from Moore as he came forward, uh, but Jones took it well. Well, it's following the same pattern as their last meeting. Jones on the back foot, Moore trying to get close. I would say Jones looks a bit more confident tonight than he did last time. Thought it was a little bit kind of shaky looking last time. He's got a nutritionist on board, Michael Jones. Says he feels stronger, fitter than ever under the leadership of Morris Core. As for Jamie Moore, it's a big, big night for him too to wipe out the disaster of last November. Good right hand from Jones. Yeah, well, a couple of nice clean shots from Jones on the back foot. Moore hasn't quite found the range when he does. He's not getting a chance to be effective. This is a cute, clever start from Jones. I just worry sometimes he seems to have a long neck and his chin's a little bit higher than I don't think there's much he can do about that. But that is definitely a danger. Searching out the uppercut early, Michael Jones. He was such a good amateur already. Marcus McDonald saying, watch the head, Jamie Moore. It's pretty uh, nasty, low blows and all sorts in their second meeting. But I tell you, Moore is struggling to find the range tonight. He found it straight away last time. This is a little bit better here. He's coming forward, but there's not a great a lot of method in what he's doing. He's been picked off with nice, cute little counters. But they're just looking a bit more business-like now. Closing that range down. Trying to unleash him close. What was surprising was that the first time when he won so easily, he outboxed the boxer. Yeah, I think we have to remember in that meeting, Adam, that he trained to meet an orthodox fighter at five days' notice, a southpaw was brought in. OK, we can say Moore took it at five days' notice, he should get all the credit. But all Jones's preparations must have enough in the air. Maybe he just couldn't cope with the southpaw stance. He's coping with it in the first round here. Interesting start. Right hand. 
okay? Try for your shots up. It's a very warm down, okay? welcome back to the sweltering atmosphere here in Altrincham. Morris Corbett leading the Jones corner for the first time. Cool advice and a decent enough start from Michael Jones. Yep, I think he's settled much quicker tonight than he has in the previous two meetings. He's putting a little bit of snap into the jab as Moore comes forward. Marcus McDonald is going to have another word to Jamie Moore. Heating up. Well, I think Jamie Moore knows he cannot stand off and have a clean cut boxing match here. He has to rough uh, Michael Jones up, but he has to draw the line, not go over the score. And a couple of times, the referee O'Donnell has to pull him up. He's making mistakes in the way in, he's reaching with his punches as opposed to getting his feet up a little bit closer and he's been picked off with the long shots of Jones. Body shot from Michael Jones. And Moore yet to really get into a rhythm. Disqualified last time, but stick to the rules. This time Michael Jones being warned to keep the shots up. What is it about these two? That was fairly borderline, but uh, I think the referee has made up his mind. He has to every infringement he's got to get on top of this fight because it could turn nasty. Yep, they really do not like each other. This pair. Joe, uh, sorry, Moore hasn't found any rhythm. He hasn't got his timing yet. He's lunging in to get close. He's struggling to get his boxing together at the moment. Defence there from Jamie Moore, just lunges in though. Good movement from Jones. I think Moore realises he's going to have to take some chances to get his punches off. He can't box his way in, so he's taking chances off. And every time he gets close, he can shake Moore up. Beautiful right hand though, doubling up from Jamie Moore. Best success so far, and he feels he's got Jones hurt. Thinks he's got the Liverpudlian's number. See, Moore is making Jones fight his style of fight now. Although he did box well in the opening round, he was under constant pressure. Never a time to settle, nothing smooth about his boxing. And now, it's turning nasty for him. More flawed Jones in their first fight. He believes he's got the power to really trouble the taller man. There's the left hook. Again from Jamie Moore. Big finish to the second. Definitely the, the better punches in that round came from Jamie Moore. Jones started the round well but lost his way in the last minute and a half or so. So he has made an impact now, Jamie Moore. 18th round that they've shared a ring together. Michael Jones, the British champion in the red, white and green. And the short, stocky southpaw from Salford, Jamie Moore. He's just beginning to get into his game plan. I just feel the high chin of Jones is going to let him down. We see some eye damage, the right eye's cut, there were no clashes of heads that I spotted. See, his chin is always a little bit too high. Michael Jones cut in the third round. He was down in the third of their first fight, almost disqualified in this round last time out, and more drama in their third encounter. There's a real sordid look about Jamie Moore's work now. He's getting close without lunging in. Every time he lands, he's shaking Jones up. The eye trouble, obviously, give him something else to worry about. 
Michael Jones has to come up with a decent punch to discourage Moore because he's just walking around. That was well low, that punch. Left up from Jamie Moore. Has Jones got the power and he ate stoppages on his record? Can he keep more off him? See, in the first round, a good shot. Yeah, that's a good left hook. John Moore has gone. Beautiful shot from Michael Jones. And Jamie Moore is floored. Sensational fashion. The count's at seven. Chris Counter. What about that? His eyes do not look good. Jones wants to take his time here. He is badly shaken. He has not recovered. Michael Jones wants to step off. He has given himself some room. He's thrown too many punches that are not landing. But Jamie Moore has to go down for the second time in the third round. And there's a minute to go. Will he get through it? Michael Jones wants to calm down here and pick his punches. He is on the verge of proving himself as British champion here. Moore tries to get an uppercut in, but he has to get his gloves up. Clean shots from Jones. And Michael Jones on the verge here, on the very edge of the win of his career. He's wasting punches again. He should be picking, he should be stepping off. Finding the target, he's throwing too many punches. It looks to me as though Jones has weathered the storm. A couple of left hooks thrown from Jamie Moore in desperation have kept him in this. And now Michael Jones has to take clean shots. See, Moore has his balance back, so now the power is back in his punches again. What a round this is! Stunning action! And Michael Jones is now in trouble at the end of a phenomenal third round of their third fight. a natural finisher. Moore was so badly shaken, he was out on his feet in no time did he fully recover from the two knockdown punches. Twice he was on the floor, but not being a natural finisher, Jones wasted so many punches catching gloves, top of the head. Look at the volume here when you were looking for set yourself and find some quality shots. That was the second knockdown. He carried on at that crazy pace and he lost his chance and suddenly the snap was back Second in Moore's punches again. He regained his Rumble. balance, but what a round that was. An utterly tremendous three minutes of British title action. Moore charges in. He had the last say at the end of it, but he had to get up off the floor twice. Blood from the nose of Michael Jones to add to the excitement of this one. Well, Jones has learned that he has the power to turn this around with one punch, so he wants to go back to his boxing, but I think he's used up an awful lot of steam trying to finish the job in the third round there. Jamie Moore shakes his head in defiance. Says, I'm back. But is he fresh enough? Good job. Terrific stuff. This is fantastic, better than we'd hoped, but I wonder is Michael Jones getting the feeling that maybe he's lost his chance. That was a good right hand, but they both landed at the same time, and Moore was the one back to work again. Cut on the left eye, Michael Jones. That right hand opens that up again. Moore has that solid look back again pressurising Jones as he was earlier. Backing Jones up into the neutral corner. Jamie Moore, who's fallen apart a couple of times before against Scott Nixon and Ozzy Duran, but he's shown some bottle to come back in this.
push was a little bit cynical. Oh, and again, again. Jamie Moore just goes. Little cheeky shot from Jones. And he tries a left hook. Almost parallel to last time when Marcus McDonald was trying to break them. See, Jones, as I said earlier, he knows he has the power to hurt Whoa. the world. Why does he settle down and pick them properly? I mean, that's twice he's turned it all the way around with one single shot. Ball's next went again, right hand from Michael Jones. They've really worked on that power. More looking for the body shots. Explosive. Timeout for Shields. Come Shields are being put back in and a breather for the pair of them. Energy sapping. That little bit stronger, but he's the one who's been shaken more often. Jones really wants to be trying to pick the shots. Incredible fight. Now come on, you that close hit you so far, okay? Now come on. 12 minutes of uh, frenetic action and cuts to Michael Jones. First in round three, possible shoulder. Seconds, it's possible, but uh, I, mean, I mean, it's been that kind of fight, it's been so rugged. I didn't see any blatant butts second in the first one. cut. Uh, I mean, certainly Round the second one. cut, maybe a little clash of heads there. Timeout called by Marcus McDonald. It looks like too much grease. Uh... They finally enter the fifth round, British 11 stone belt on the line, both have held it. Jamie Moore looking to regain it in the uh, black trunks with Mikey on the waistband, his new son, just a few weeks old. Well, that's a good, powerful right hand again from Jones. He's setting himself now. In the past, he was pushed onto the back foot in the earlier rounds, but he's setting himself, and that's a tasty looking right hand he's throwing. Blood to the bridge of the nose for Jamie Moore as Michael Jones spits out his gum shield there. I mean, I don't believe how many bad fitting gum shields are in the game today. Adam, when I was boxing, I had a job getting my gum shield out between rounds. I don't understand why these young guys cannot get a decent fitted gum shield. Jim, that kept happening to Michael Jones in their first fight. Is that a problem with his breathing? It's an outfitting gum shield, a proper gum shield. The second is a struggle getting it out between rounds. That one's jumping out. Uppercut from Moore. They put so much into this already. They've driven themselves into shape in training. Huge amounts at stake to both fighters' careers here. These are sickening little body shots from Moore. I think he must be surprised at the strength that's still in Jones's punches. Jones is really letting them rip here. Just catching Jones. Again, Jamie Moore. He's recovered so well from the two knockdowns. I mean, it's unbelievable. He actually turned things all the way around during the round, almost scored a knockdown of his own. But that was a big round scored against them. Crowd absolutely enthralled. Most of them on their feet. Big support for Jamie Moore, who's just starting to get to Jones again. And he's got to go down in the fifth round. On one knee. Takes a count. That was a good left hook. It got right on the point of the chin. And once again, Moore is the one stronger in the last minute of the rounds. And I think that is really significant. Left hook. Now Jamie Moore senses, sniffing out, that maybe the end's in sight for him. Jones has to go again. Beginning to unravel. Looks at his corner. Distress signals. I don't think there's any way back. When a fighter twice decides to go on the floor, he's not knocked on the floor. I mean, you cannot...
question his courage, the courage he's shown is phenomenal. But maybe he just doesn't have anything left to give. Big round for Jamie Moore. Say by the bell, Michael Jones. Listen to me. What Listen to me. You knew he was going to be like this, all right? You knew it. Now you the champion, okay? Now you got to box like a champion. Do you hear what I'm saying? Now listen, before you ain't saying this, now don't be doing this now, okay? Yeah. Take your string. Now you... What another great round. Yep, and there was a beautiful little left hook. There it goes, bang, right on the point of the chin. Michael Jones knew exactly where he was, but he knew he had to get out of there. Didn't want to take any more punches. The only place of safety was on the floor. And he did that again for the second knockdown. This is a sign that everything is going against him. I wonder, can he drag himself back from this? There's nowhere to go after this, all right? So when you find an uppercut, all right, and tie him up in the There's nowhere to go after this. You've got to win it, says Morris Corr. Both men down twice in an explosive British light middleweight. Third meeting. And Jamie Moore has started very, very strongly. Can Jones live with him now? Michael Jones needs to produce one of those single, well timed shots that has shaken Jamie Moore several times already. But does he have the strength to do that? Gum shield out again. Gum shield out. Blood from the nose of Jones. He broke it in that first fight. But still, he tries to find one right hand to trouble more again. I mean, referee McDonald has intended to take points from where a good right hand side call he gets beginning to crumble again. Look at that, he's got to go down. No time in the fight. He elects to take a knee. Looks at Morris Core. Is there anything left in the Jones tank? And nine, the fight is over. It's sensational style. Jamie Moore wins the Lonsdale belt outright, exacts revenge on Michael Jones. There's his great friend Ricky Hatton, absolutely delighted. Five knockdowns in a domestic dust-up we'll talk about all year. Isn't it wonderful to see what the British title and the Lonsdale belt means to fighters in this country? You could not ask for anything more from either man. We've had two winners in here tonight. OK, now we probably have the rightful champion. I think over the three meetings, Jamie Moore has proved he's that little bit better. But I tell you, he gave his corner a few frights tonight on the verge of knockout defeat himself. He pulled him all the way back. And this man here deserves every bit of credit. He gave it everything he had. He just had nothing more to give. Can you believe people accused him of quitting in the last one after what he showed us in Courage tonight? Well, they won't accuse him of that again, but you can see there's a ragged look to his boxing now. He's got nothing left, he's exhausted. Every punch, defence is gone, and for the third time, he elects to go on the floor. He's not knocked on the floor, he's shaking his head over to the corner. He has nothing more to give, and you cannot blame him one little bit. The fight was turning against him. He didn't have the strength to turn it back again. So who can blame him, but he gave everything he had. What a wonderful performance from both guys. Obviously, especially Jimmy Moore, who is now Wonsdale belt winner. Unbelievable. Six rounds, and as you said, you can see what the British title means to these guys. They put everything on the line. That was a fantastic fight. We expected it to be a good battle, but that surpassed anything I was expecting. Every round, every second of every round, we had action, drama, the whole shooting match. This fight did not lack anything. It was wonderful. A delighted fan amongst many here for Jamie Moore, but there'll be so much respect after the bad blood between the pair. They have put up a tremendous third fight. And well done to them both. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree both these boys deserve a big round of applause for an absolutely tremendous contest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and four seconds of round six, the referee has stopped the contest. Michael Jones being in no position to defend himself. The winner and the new British 
light middleweight champion, making the Lonsdale belt his own possession, Jamie Moore. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation is pleased to a very fine loser, Michael Jones. And I'll now ask the steward in charge, Mr. Kevin Levy, to present the Lonsdale belt to the man who makes it his own possession, the light middleweight champion of Great Britain, Jamie Moore. He has his Lonsdale belt to keep. He has redeemed himself here tonight but so too has the loser in a memorable British light middleweight title fight. Jamie, kiss for your wife. After all the controversy, how satisfying a win was that? To be honest, Ed, that was the best feeling ever. Apart from my son being born, that was the most unbelieving feeling ever when Michael refused to carry on then. He took a good beating, I mean, we both was in a right war there. I don't know how it looked from the outside, but in there it felt like a real big war. Can I just say a big thanks to my sponsors, Els made proper. And just you, did like it, to... you did it the hard way, didn't you? You were knocked down in the third. Were you hurt? Yeah, definitely I was hurt, but, you know, my nana died two days ago on, uh, on Wednesday, and we're a very close family, big Irish family, and, um, you know, I, I was on the floor, and I was hurt, to be honest, I, I was hurt, but, you know, she, she shouted down to me, she said, keep going, son, and, uh, you know, I got her stuck in there, and that was to my baby, Micah, and my nana, who died on Wednesday. You look the stronger fighter. Was it a case of wearing him down for that fifth round yeah, when you finally yeah. got to him? I thought I would have broke him down slowly, didn't expect to be on the floor. You know, good counter left up, but what's his, it's his pet punch. Got me coming in, nothing I could do about it, but you know what, the training, what me and Oliver do, you know, he's not just my trainer, he's like, he's like my best mate. And um, we put, you know, it's, 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 it, when we train, it's business as usual. And um, the, the training, what we go through is unbelievable. And that's what pulled me through tonight. After all the bad blood between you and Michael Jones, do you have respect for him now? Massive respect, and, it, and, you know, and it's vice versa. I just went over to him and I said, I give him a kiss and I said, listen, Michael, after everything with me and you've been through together, if we can't be friends after this, then I don't know. And he said, Jamie, definitely we can be friends after this, no doubt. That's how boxing is. And you've got the Lonsdale belt for keeps? That, you know, every, every boxer's dream when they turn professional. And on November, when that happened, I was close to turning me back on boxing. I was that disappointed. And um, I, w I was just going to carry on my career when, when I come to terms with it and move towards European or world. But, you know, the opportunity arose and, uh, I, and I took the opportunity. And thank God I've won for my nana and my baby. Well done tonight. Yeah.